Right, I thought I'd have a quick, uh, <clears throat> a quick look at the uh, my uh, Springers, if you like, or more traditional um, air rifles. Three of them that I've got in my collection. Um, bottom one is Sterling HR81. <clears throat> Middle one is the Diana 340 Tech, and the top one, uh, anyone with even a vague interest in air rifles will know, is the good old. Webley Mark III. Now, I've had this one, the Mark III, years. I've got to say, it still brings a smile to my face whenever I shoot this rifle. It was never the most powerful things when it was new. Probably struggled to get 10. Now it's probably generating about 8. Struggle to get to 9. But I still love shooting this thing. There's just something about it. It's just just a joy to shoot. It just makes you smile. It's just great fun. And the craftsmanship on it is just ridiculous. That loading tap, I mean, it's, it must have had hundreds of thousands of rounds through this thing. The loading tap, still as smooth as the day it was made. It's beautiful positive smooth it's lovely could do the new mainspring definitely needs a new washer and uh, you never know one day i might treat it to that but what a rifle it's a proper blast from the past i love it to bits even with all my new high complex fangled wondrous guns that can put pellet on pellet at 50 yards there's something about shooting one of these things that still brings a smile to your face. It twangs like a bugger. It's old. But my God, it's well made. And it still shoots lovely. Below that, the Entech. Um, one of, I think, the most beautiful brake barrel rifles um, ever made. This thing's... I mean, look at the lines on that. It's a gorgeous rifle especially the one with the walnut stock the stock's a joy and it's just a beautiful beautiful thing shoots really really well um really good good fun i've not even put a telescopic sight on this i've had this ages i've not even bothered putting a telly sight on it i keep saying i'm going to put a small one on it um, but i haven't got around to it yet but i will do eventually but i just like shooting this with open sights out of sort of 20 20 yards, I can be fairly accurate with this at, uh, with open sights. Um, the rifle itself is capable of well over that, but it's just me and my eyesight, unfortunately. But um, what a beautiful gun. I mean, it's just a stunning bit of kit. The stock is amazing on it. It's all curves and palm swells and everything. It's just beautiful. Whoever designed that, it's just, well... They excel themselves when they design that. It's gorgeous. And then at the bottom, the little ugly duckling, probably. Um, the little HR81. And it's, again, not the most beautiful rifle in the world. Even at the time, it wasn't considered particularly attractive. But, uh, again, another British rifle. Made in the UK, like the uh, Webby Mark III. All steel construction all machined solid as a rock and again this one needs a new mainspring and a new piston washer because this is only shooting about eight foot pounds as well um, but nonetheless another rifle that's great fun to shoot that bolt action just as slick as the day it was made underlever works beautifully but it's just, it just needs a new washer and a new mainspring. But aren't they lovely? There's something about <clears throat> the, um, the sort of spring-powered air rifles, underlever or brake barrel, um, that, or the gas rams, rather, because the NTEC is a gas ram. They're just, them, that traditional styling of them just makes them, they just look beautiful, I think. Three absolute beauties. Going right back from the uh, the 50s and the Mark III. 
that's when they were first introduced this one's not a 1950s one this one was made in the 70s um well actually it was made in 1968 pardon me um so you know and then all the way through to 2020 with the ntech beautiful things and still great fun to shoot like i say the ntech i'm going to definitely going to put a scope on that thing it deserves a scope it's such a good gun it's accurate shooting about 11.6 foot pounds which is powerful as well and uh it's, it's it's a gas ram model so it's got a snappy a snappy let off with the shot but there's no spring noise no resonance nothing typical gas ram shooting uh, which i find actually very very good some people don't like them because it's quite a snappy shot and a lot of times very quick on them uh, but i like it and it's got a really nice trigger on it as well the trigger's much better than on the um the Master Pro, 